What's up guys? Um, before we start this video, I want to kind of talk about it a little bit. So pretty much this video is just a little showcase of me fishing a stream that I really love um, around here in Virginia. Um, it consists of very large rainbow trout and brown trout here and there. Um, but the cool thing about this stream is that they're all wild trout. So there are stocks in there, but it mostly consists of wild fish, which is really cool around here. You don't find you know, streams that are really big that consist of big wild trout. And I would say the stream feels a lot like streams out west, but in Virginia, which is really cool. So I'm excited to show you guys this video. Um, yeah, enjoy. Alright, so we made it, um, it's a great stream, I'm not going to say where as I said, but uh, it took about an hour and 15 minutes to get here, which is not horrible, but uh, it was a definitely a drive, but I think it will be worth it because we have a chance of catching a 20 plus inch wild bow and some browns as I said before. But uh, yeah, it's a nice stream. It's uh, pretty low today as I uh, went down there and checked real quick. So it might be a little bit of a difficult day, but fishing here is always not too bad. No matter what the conditions are, you just have to be kind of smart with it. So that's our plan. We're just gonna fish it slow, fish it methodically, make sure we, you know, stand back, don't get too close to the water when we're, you know, fishing for them. Hopefully it's a good day, you know, I'm going to tie up real quick a dry dropper rig. We're just using a little chubby here um, with either a copper john or something similar to that as the bottom nymph. So hopefully that should work best. And what I'm using today, the good old Orvis Clearwater. Um, I think it's the two. And then we got the Reddington Path as the rod itself. I love this setup for this creek. I've tried a three weight butter stick on this river, but uh, I don't know why, but I don't like how it runs. I've lost a lot of fish on it because it's really a soft rod and sometimes the fish fight really hard in this river and it pulls the fly right out of them. So yeah, let's get at it. All right. We got the GoPro today, as you can see. Um, so I really like fishing this section right here and all this water. And then that hole up there on right under the bridge is phenomenal. So I'm definitely gonna get some footage of that. But I'm gonna try this little run right here, or up here actually. a fish or two up in this section. He's got to figure out where he is. There's got to be something in here. There's one. That's not a bad one, actually. There we go. Not a bad one at all. Yep. And he's good.
new location change. We went a little bit more down river. The section up there doesn't have a ton of public water, but we have from here all the way up to where we were just fishing uh, of public water to fish. And usually it's decently well, so we're gonna try this. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna film, but uh, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. It's just kind of treacherous in certain spots. That's why I got the handy GoPro, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna go fish it, see what else we can catch. Okay, I'm gonna give a crack at this hole. I caught a brown out of here last time, so. There's one. Oh, good one. Good one, good one, good one. Nice one. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, there was one. There's another one. Little, little brown rainbow. Little, little tiny guy. Holy crap. Little, little guy. Nothing too important. Oh my god, these guys are so rambunctious this time of year. All right. There's one. That's a good one. I knew one was under here. Don't go under there. That's a nice one. Oh my god. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that's a really good one. There we go. Oh, all right. All right. I was a little worried about the fish since it like swam downstream while I tried to release it. Um, thankfully, it did swim back upstream, so it did survive. Um, that happens sometimes when you try to release fish like that, they'll just squirm out of your hands. But uh, yeah, I knew there was one in this hole, so cool. I think that concludes uh, for today. I might go um, fish a little bit more on my own without filming. But I think we got a lot of good footage um, as it is. But yeah, we had a great time. We caught some really decent fish, actually. Um, they're all wilds. Um, yeah, it was a really good time, and I hopefully can do more videos like this. I have another. Uh, I have a couple other projects I want to make uh, video-wise, and it should be a good time, and it should be uh, something I do consistently now. So if you like this idea and you support my videos, uh, subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up goes a long way. So yeah, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.